everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the editing of the skin that means the skin retouch which is the full course type so this one was the original photo non-edited image and after editing that you are getting like that so i'll show you step by step whole process and the techniques what i have done here so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications i'm closing this window and just go to the file and open up here is the stock image the main image and open it up it's totally okay but in a face you're getting something wrong in a face and that's why i'm just making this one so this one is good photographs and amazing but uh, you have to just smooth the skin and make it more lucrative or beauty type retouch so let's start the full course at first press ctrl j for the new copy of this layer and press ctrl j another copy of this layer first one is blur and second one is high pass so i'll do retouch of the skin first and then then i'll apply the lights and other stuffs in this photo so just select this one blur layer and make it convert to smart object and high pass this one as well convert to smart object and turn off the high pass and select the blur options and go to the filter and blur and gaussian blur the blur value will be 24 23 around like that and hit ok and after that just on the high pass options and just make it high pass how to do that go to the filter and go to the other options and high pass options so make this one 3.5 or 4 not more than 5 okay then hit okay and change the blending mode into hard light and just select these two things make it group and giving the name retouch so after that take a mask of this one and press ctrl i or command i for the inverse mask that means when i have done this one white mask and it won't work actually and that's why i just made it like inverse mask by pressing command or ctrl i i for inverse and then i'll brush it up and change it in a like smooth skin so how to do that go to the just here foreground and background color reset this one actually reset this one and make it white when this one is black this one is relevant when you are masking this one you have to make it black and this one is white or this one is black this one is white so reverse mask is always acceptable and it will work fully and after that go to the brush and take the brush that is the first one brush and make the brush size a little bit bigger and make sure that just click over here and opacity and flow it could be changed so you can increase the brush size smaller or bigger by pressing third bracket opening and closing so i'm making it a little bit bigger and just brush over here so this one will be like amazing you can make it zoom it will help you out to make the brush like that here and make it smaller and just brush over here to be more smooth and more lucrative so you can do that by your time and take the time to when you are working this one so i want to tell you one thing when you're doing your creative work take time so take more time to do that it will be more like a precisely or nice thing so creative work is not in a hurry work so you have to do it like take the time in a cool head and other stuff so just brush over here here and other stuffs here it's almost done so now this one is good so in this portion i'm just making this smaller brush size and just brush here so don't brush it 
more and more otherwise it will spoil your photo so i'll brush here just because of here is some skin so i'll brush here this portion this portion a little bit that's good and here make the smaller brush size and brush over here so which area you want to make smooth and more smooth you have to brush that area so here as well and make the brush size bigger like that and brush the panel here here and here like that that's fine now let's see the before one actually before one and after one so the dark circle gone the spot gone and everything just gone so after that go to the adjustment layer and go to the levels from here i'll adjust the light and other steps so when you're doing that take your time so after that here is a green option so i'll make it like that yeah that's fine that is the warm tone it will make more amazing and the red this portion that's good and the blue as well so make this one a little bit like that so if you want to make this warmer you have to just slide the middle one 94 value i want to make it more warmer like that it's pretty good before one and after one pretty like creative and like polished after that go to the adjustment layer and go to the gradient options so i want to highlight the face only and the model as well that's why i'm taking the gradient go to the style to linear to radial and make the angle that is zero degree and make it reverse and the deep side as well and the scale that is 350 around or you can take it like that you can just move this one and i'll just focus on a phase of the model just because of i want to show the model in the universe and that's why we just took like that and turn it off you are getting like that audience wouldn't get focus in other areas if you add the gradient it will be more precisely focused on a face that's why i'm just making it so i'm select this mask and make it black and take the brush and make the brush size bigger like that and just brush over here it will be more like a flashy like that that's good and then go to the adjustment layer and here the color lookup options from here i'm taking the foggy this one and the opacity that is 17 and the flow that is 35 that's good subtle change but that's important for your photographs subtle change and uh, the small things is a big for a photography it could change the whole scenario of your photography so you can maintain that i do maintain that that's why i'm just suggesting you to maintain that and then go to the adjustment layer again and use a gradient map from here i'll use the gradient map like that and make the blending mode into soft light and make the opacity like 10 or 13 it will make more sense in your photographs that's good let's see the before one was like that that's amazing photographs but you have to make it more polished like that so it's working actually and here i'll take a new blank layer select this one and take a new blank layer and i'll increase the eye color how to do that it's very easy you can do the eye color increasing many of ways but i'll use brush go to the brush tool and make the brush size smaller like that according to the cornea actually so after that pick a color which is like this hair color and make it more saturated and then just draw over here so i'll increase this portion only and here a little bit that's good and then go to the blending mode and make it screen like that or you can make it soft light that's good and go to the adjustment layer and go to the brightness and contrast and make it mask and increase the light actually so that's good and adjust the opacity with the eyeball 
it will help you out yeah that's good actually not this this one just opposite you make it down yeah, that's good and you can brush it properly let's see the before one and after one it's making more sense you can adjust all things by making it group and giving the eye light so i'm giving the opacity that is 85 percent it will be more like that so let's see the before one and after one you have to maintain every steps and every portion of the model phase it will be amazing then i'll select all the things make it group and make it match so i'll use little bit of uh, like sharpening increasing and other stuff so for that i'll use the camera filter go to the filter options and camera filter option so camera filter is the plugins of the photoshop you know that on the creative cloud version and other stuffs but you are getting the creative cloud version by default camera filter but uh, you want to if you want to use the camera filter in your cs version you have to install it manually if you want to get the install file download link please check out my video description and from here i'll increase the shadow a little bit and the highlight i'll make it a little bit down and here is this hsl panel and increase the face color a little bit the luminance of like orange color and yellow color and red color so that's good and from here you can add some sharpening amount sharpening and the luminance of noise reduction if the noise in your photo that's why and hit okay okay it's adding extra look in your photograph so before one was like that and after one you're getting like that now i'll add another like uh, filters from the nick collection here is the nick collection and color effects pro 4 nick collection is another plugins of the photoshop you can use lots of filters and you can get uh, lots of filters and presets over here so you can use that for your photography level increasing from here i'm using the cross processing here is the cross processing and lots of method over here you can use one of them so lots of filters and amazing filters which is uh, like nice and amazing so i'll use the l02 here is the l02 this one uh, this one yeah this one is perfect for these photographs here is the strength option if you increase this one you can decrease this one i'll make it 25 to 30 30 is good for this photo and hit the ok button it will take time to load and give you the final output and it will be more amazing when you're getting the final outputs so yeah before one was like that and after one you're getting like that so polished image eye color and other stuffs and here leaves is okay that's why i didn't touch that if needed you can do that and all the things is good and polished version before one and after one so thank you so much hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and until the next video i may assume signing out today if you have any question query request please do comment in my video comment section and until the next video bye bye